<laughs> All right, check it out. Friday nights have never been the same this time around. So much more bigger and funnier. Simply because Slick the Dick, yes, you heard right, is joining us on the Tribe Exclusive this Friday. Nessie, my homeboy. Put it here, put it over here. Oh. Let's begin with Onesmo Zupindi. As a vambu. <laughs> now, fundamentally, being Onesmo Zupindi only happens when you turn six. Because vambus, we grow up as whatever you're called in the house. Yeah. And my mom sat me down and she said, now when you go to school, remember <laughs> that people are going to be calling you Onesimus. And I went, who? Onesimus. Uh, a Kwanyama woman, a Ndonga man, uh -huh. uh, they met by the river. And they had this fundamental boy you see here. <laughs> Zed, and then we came here in 1990. Yeah, yeah, I think so. You know, those years we didn't really know time. I've been here. This is where I grew up. Yeah. Uh, now um, yeah. I also traveled a little bit. Yeah. Uh, we were in Europe. Mainly, I was in Asia. I, I lived in Beijing for roughly five years. Did you learn any Mandarin while you were there? Yeah, what was your Huh? I know. I know. Are you sure? Yeah, definitely. Can we get subtitles for this? Definitely. You can look at that Chinese guy. What was your in India? Don't do this. <laughs> That's great, man. The kind of experience you pick up, especially when you travel with your family and be exposed to different cultures in a different world. The exposure just like uh, opens you up to mm. you know your train of thought. You know mm. what you what you're willing to think about. You know because there's so many people with so many ideas mm. that they might also be like contradictory contrast to what you and think. not necessarily the box where you actually born into. Yeah, exactly. I see you. You learn to be tolerant. Yeah. Tolerant of a lot of people what they think, with their beliefs. So here you are, one of the biggest comedians in the land of the brave, after experiencing all that in your life. Your journey with comedy, like, have you always just been a funny person? I think funny is there. Uh -huh. It's in the house also, it's around my friends, you know, because we, you know, even growing up, we were, we were clowns. <laughs> You were part of the biggest um, comedy movement. You are. You you were there in the beginning. You were part of the founders for the biggest comedy movement that Namibia has ever seen and experienced until this very day. We just wanted people to show up. And, and like, it was at the theater school. Yeah, the theater, theater school, school at the time. Yeah. We were just given the space. When I started joining or going to the shows, um, it was about, what, a couple of sessions or comedy and stand-ups after that. The house was jam-packed. You could not find a seat. How was that journey? Because you're saying that you never expected it to be like this. Like you didn't expect to do comedy, so you must you didn't have a plan, right? There were a couple of people who were still like doing stand, who were trying it out, and but no one was like committed. So I performed for three and a half years straight every month, at least five times. Wow! Just const every month, yeah. three five times, three to five times. Practice would, makes perfect as well. And I would perform every show. Yeah. You know, we we were getting the hang of it. We started running more rehearsals. I started doing more research on the yeah. on the stand up. You mentioned to me when we were off air that. Um, only you and Lazarus Jacobs, shout out to Olaz, uh, have been the com have, been, have been comedians to stand the longest on stage. Lazarus, you mentioned two hours. La Lazarus has done the longest time currently. Mm -hmm. uh, I've, on I've only done an hour and 45. Has he ever embraced Free Your Mind? Has he ever, or did it take some time for, you know, the original comedians, Lazarus Jacobs and Neville Gasson, to embrace Free Your Mind comedy? Yeah. You know, uh, he's been, a, he, I think he, he's been supportive. Um, I've spoken to him about things that I that I just think. Yeah. Uh, I remember one of his key th advice that he's given us is, um, you know, run your business, run mm -hmm. your thing. Uh, and you know, and, and uh, my my thing with him was like, you know, you're the godfather of comedy. Of comedy. So yeah, you, the land of the brave. you, you need to be a custodian. Yeah. For this thing, Neville Basson as well. He's been, yeah. he's also been quite supportive. Absolutely. Let's wrap it up. Uh, local music wise, what are you listening to right now in your car and internationally? What's playing? Wow. Oh. What, what, what am I listening to? You know, I, I keep saying it. I'm right now. I'm on that guy. Mm -hmm. You know, on my ferry. My ferry. That. My ferry. It's just. I'm like. It, it's the idea that he he, he has the audacity. <laughs> to rap in a rotal. <laughs> yeah, in oh my goodness. One last question. Where do we see you performing next? Uh, when is the next Free Your Mind? And where do we get to see experience Slick the Dick again? Uh, well, next Free Your Mind is on the 1st of September. Yeah. Uh, but um, uh, we'll, that'll be a one man show. We're giving it to one of our comics, uh, Marky Mark. But you can catch me on the 2nd. Warehouse. Um. Yeah. Onesimus, thank you so much for joining us. Um, we look forward to seeing your next comedy show again. Of course, every single first Thursday, Thursday of, the, of month, the month, for your mind, we're always there at the Warehouse Theatre. And, yo, thank you for bringing us comedy, man. Thank you for 
making that stage happen, that platform happen. Hey, really, thank you all for really the support. You know? Yeah. Thank you so much. There you have it, ladies and gents. Another exclusive. That's a wrap on the tribe.